Hello again. We are now on module 5 in our subject mathematics for grade 10 level, which is all about word problems with sequences. And for our lesson 1, we will take up problems involving arithmetic sequences. And at the end of this video, you will be able to solve real life problems involving arithmetic sequence. In our previous lesson, we already learned how to get the nth terms in an arithmetic sequence using this formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is our first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. We also learned how to find or solve the sum of the terms using this formula. You can use either of the two whichever given is available and appropriate to solve the problem. You need to have prior knowledge with it because it is useful in solving word problems involving arithmetic sequence. Let us take this example. Gerald, a writer, wrote 890 words on the first day, 760 words on the second day, and 630 words on the third day, and so on in an arithmetic sequence. How many words did Gerald write in a week? So in order for us to do this problem, let us picture out using the table. In our first row, we have number of days which we will write numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 because it is the number of days in a week. In the second row, we have the number of words. So in the first day, Gerald wrote 890 words. And in the second day, we have 760 words. And on the third day, he wrote 630 words. And then at the rest of the days, we will leave them blank because we don't know those numbers yet. Now, let's have our given. We have the arithmetic sequence 890, 760, and 630. And then we already know what is our first term, which is our A sub 1 which is 890 and then we know also the number of terms which tells us the number of days in a week which is 7 and that is our n and then let us try to identify what is being asked in the problem so it is the total number of words in a week so we are going to use the sum we are going to use the formula of finding the sum of all the terms in a sequence. So we will just use the second formula because we have all the given values and it is easier to find the common difference because in the first formula we don't have the value of our last term which is the a sub n. So let's solve first the common difference, which is the D. So D is equal to 800 minus 630, which is equivalent to negative 130. Now let us substitute all the values in our variables. So N will be 7, A sub 1 will be 890, and then D will be negative 130 so let us do the 2 times 890 first which is 1780 and then we have 7 minus 1 which is 6 and then we need to multiply next the 6 with negative 130 that will be equivalent to negative 780 then let us add the 1780 1, with negative 780 which gives us 1000 
and then we will multiply 7 over 2 with 1000 we will get 7000 over 2 then our final answer will be 3500 therefore Gerald wrote 3,500 words in a week or 7 days. Let's have another example. Ramon bought a goat weighing 6.4 pounds. In the next 35 days, the goat has grown to 37 pounds. Suppose the goat's daily growth was constant. How much did it gain every day? So again, let's picture out the problem using a table. So in our first row, we still have the number of days, which has our first day, and then, or at the end of the column, we have 35 days. And then in the second row, we have the number of pounds. So in the first day, the goat weighs 6.4 pounds. And then on the, 35, on the 35th day, the goat weighs 37 pounds. So let's identify our given in the problem. Our first term is 6.4 pounds. And then our n here, which is our number of positions or number of terms which we have 35 and then our last term which is a sub 35 which is equivalent to 37 pounds so the problem is asking for the weight it gained every day on a constant rate so what we are looking here is the common difference so we are going to solve for dd for the d using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d now let us substitute all those given values to our formula so we have a sub 35 is equal to 6.4 which is our which is our a sub 1 then n is 35 and d is the unknown then let us identify our a sub 35 or our last term which is 37 so let us solve 35 minus 1 we have 34 so we will have 34 times d and then we have 6.4 we have to transpose 6.4 to the other side of the equation so it will become 37 minus 6.4 is equal to 34 times d 37 minus 6.4 what is left is 30.6 then what we are going to do here is we have we will transpose 34 by dividing it at both sides of the equation so our d is 0 0.9 Nine. Therefore, the goat gained 0 0.9 pounds every day. Let's take this next example. Marcus loves watching action movies. He finishes 5 movies on Saturday, 7 on Sunday, and 9 on Monday. If he continues watching every day at the pace, when will he watch the last movie? If there are only 45 movies now let's picture out our problem using the table the first row which we have the number of days one uh, Saturday Sunday and Monday and so on with the rest of the cells and for the second row we have the number of movies on Saturday he watches five movies and on Sunday he watched seven movies and on Monday he watched nine movies and so on now let's identify what is given in the problem we have our first term which is equivalent to five 
then we have the sum of the terms or the sum of all the movies that he needs to watch which is 45 and d which is the common difference which is equal to 2. Now what is asked in the problem is the day that Marcus will watch the last movie. So we are going to solve for the n using this formula. S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Then let's substitute what is given in our problem. So S sub n we have 45 then we have a sub 1 which is 5 and d is equivalent to 2 then let us solve first 2 times 5 which is 10 and let us distribute 2 to n minus 1 so it will become 2n minus 2 then let's combine 10 and negative 2 which will get 8 then let's multiply n with 8 plus 2n. So we get 8n plus 2n squared over 2. Then let's simplify 8n over 2 which we will have 4n and 2n squared over 2 will have n squared. And in order for us to solve the n, we need to make our equation into a quadratic form by transposing the 45 to the other side of the equation. So we will have n squared plus 4n minus 45. Then we need to factor the quadratic equation. Let's start with our n squared. So we will have n at both quantity. And since our last term has a negative sign, so our signs to use here will be both opposite. We have positive and negative. Both constants, we need to factor 45 that will come up with 4n in our middle term. And there are only two pairs of factors that we can get with 45. One will be 1 times 45 and the other one is 9 times 5. Then let's do the sum and difference checking if both pair of numbers comes up with 4. So if we will add 1 and 45, it becomes 46. And if we will subtract 1 with 45, the answer will be 44. So this will not be the correct pair of factors. Then let's check with 9 and 5. If we will add 9 and 5, we will get 14. But we will subtract 9 with 5, we can get 4. So we will use 9 and 5 as our constant. 9 and 5. So we have two answers for our n. We have n is equal to 9, negative 9, and n is equal to positive 5. And what we are going to choose is the number that is positive. So our answer will be 5. So therefore, Marcus will watch the last movie on the fifth day. So if we are going to look at the table again, we already have three days. We have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So on the fourth day will be Tuesday. And our fifth day will be on Wednesday. So to check, we are going to continue with our sequence with a difference of 2. So on Tuesday, we will have 11. And on Wednesday, we will have 13. If we are going to add all of those numbers, we will come up with 45. That is why Wednesday is our answer. That's it. I hope this video will help you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and see you in our next lesson.